Yo, Joe's real 6241 here. And uh, I, uh, this is my eighth sports vlog. Yeah, eighth. It's gotten this far. Okay, uh, today I am joined by my brother from another mother, the living legend himself, Josh Thompson, aka uh, Tom Josh 87 on YouTube, and Tom Josh 69 on Twitter. Yep. Got a lot to cover, starting with football as always. We're going to start off with something I like to call a game preview between Michigan and Miami of Ohio. Really not much to talk about here. I, I, I know Michigan just got slaughtered by Notre Dame, but I don't know when the fuck they're going to lose to Ohio. I yeah, I find it very unlikely <laughs> that even after a huge loss like that, that we can come yeah. out and lose to a team as small as Miami, Ohio. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think of what... Brady Hoke said, because like, uh, that's something else I want to really talk about. Brady Hoke, in an interview, I believe, yesterday at the time this video is being recorded, uh, he said uh, something about you know fans like ditching the team and shit. He was like, if, they, if they're truly fans, they'll believe in these kids and what they've done and the hard work they've put in. If they're not, they won't. I feel like, one, that as a coach, you don't have the right to make statements like that because that's like asking people to not support your team. You know, I, I said in my last vlog that I wasn't really, you know, big on him and I don't think it sounded like fire him or anything, but that was my last vlog. Now I think it needs to be talked about, you know, maybe the, he really isn't the guy and now he just pissed off the like whole fan base. See, the thing is, is I mean, yeah, he's definitely a decent replacement for, for the Rod. Rich Rod fiasco but i feel like obviously that whatever kind of system he has put together is not working it's really not because when they when they play teams like ohio state michigan state anyone that's like, like any big names they they get they, they have a hard time or they get flat it's incredible to watch how well our offense works against teams that are just not Good, and then as soon as we come into a game that's worth anything, or a team that's even like relatively good, all of a sudden our offense just dies. Even after bringing up these new or bringing in the new offensive coordinator, yeah, Doug Doug Nussmeyer, like they just didn't look good last week against Notre Dame. And with Doug Nussmeyer being from Alabama, I was expecting a lot better. And yeah. I, another thing, I don't think Devin Gardner's really that good anymore. See, I, I, I see I mean, it sucks. I it's one of those things where you're stuck in a rock and a hard place because yeah. Shane isn't had a lot of game experience. No, so can't. no matter how hard and no matter how much you want him in, it's going to be rocky either way. Yeah, it is. I mean, we're kind of fucked. I would say Michigan's like rebuilding right now. Okay, so the video of Ray Rice, Ray Rice knocking his fiance at the time, now it's his wife, out, was released by TMZ. Uh, as a result, the Ravens released him, and he's suspended indefinitely by the NFL. Uh, now this leads into Roger Goodell. Everybody wants him to resign, and I am definitely one of them. And the whole thing about Roger Goodell is, you know, he denied ever having the video, like the whole time. But we know it's a bunch of shit. They've had the video. They well, just... You know, and the, and this all could have been avoided if he had just fucking suspended Ray Rice indefinitely from the start. See, I don't understand. Opinion. Like, I don't understand what he was trying to hide. I mean, he he has shown incredible, like, ability to be, like, strong-willed with punishing players for certain things. Yeah, he, he finds a lot of players for a lot of stupider shit. Well, I mean, like, yeah, he, he, he throws out fines for everything. Yeah, like Sue, like Adamica Sue gets it the worst, man. Yeah, he's, it's like, it's bad. But, like, the concept of, I don't understand, like, what he was going to gain from, like, not, or pretending or denying that he had, had this video. Like, what do you get out of that? It's, he's one running back. Yeah. And he's not even, yeah. like, the best. He's, he'll never he be was, Adrian Peterson. He'll no, never be as big as Adrian no. Peterson. Even or, in the or, fan uh, base. I mean, yeah, I don't no. understand. Well, no, like, not in the fan base. Like, no, not a well, lot of people yeah. seem to really like him. In fact, the Ravens did the thing the Patriots did. 
with Aaron Hernandez. They had a jersey exchange. Yeah, they tossed him out. They and the best part is is that the Ravens will not be owing him zero. Yeah, they they zero money. That's what makes me very happy because this man has literally lost his job without pay, and I'm very glad he's a he's a fuck. I mean, like if you did you see the video? I mean, yeah, they they played it everywhere. I saw it like I was on Twitter. I was scrolling through. I watched on my phone. I was just like. No way. And the scary part is... How the fuck does this guy get to play football? I I had I didn't really know at the time. He was suspended indefinitely. But yeah. But, I mean, it's the me scary off. part is, is that this is a grown man that lifts and is built to be a freak of nature. Dude, I know, dude. And he's, gets paid for it. So when big. he hit this woman, he probably hit this woman really hard. He knocks her out. Well, I know that, you know, but I mean, like, what? however hard he hit her, he hit her hard. Yeah. He, and then he has like, the downright disrespectfulness to spit on her. Yeah, to spit on her and drag her out of the elevator, just, like, leave her sitting there. Like, I mean, if... that was, It was just awful. I couldn't fucking believe what I was watching. I used to like Ray Rice, too. I thought he was he was a good running back. I had no reason to dislike him now. I got every reason in the world to not like him. Yeah, I, I have no respect for a man that lays hands on a woman. No, not at all. Roger Goodell, my, you know, I, I've I've never liked him as a commissioner, but now I just absolutely I want him gone. I just For, can't yeah, definitely. Him I mean, besides lying to the fans and being completely you know, overzealous and, and I, way out with these in like yeah. his ability to punish people, like punishing people totally different for a crime that's way less. Yeah, yeah, like Josh Gordon goes versus down Ray for, Rice for yeah. a pot. Yeah, but. He lets Ben Roethlisberger play, and Roethlisberger raped a fucking girl. Well, I mean, it's the same Allegedly. concept as Kobe. But, it's the yeah, money yeah. issue. You know, uh, Ray Rice fucking beat a woman and gets two games, but Josh Gordon does something that I'm pretty goddamn sure more than half of America does, and yeah, it's, he I gets mean, suspended. It's, it's bullshit. Like, I, I can see a point of trying to make a point out of someone, but... 16 games is completely, utterly, and... Retarded. Yeah, it's, that's probably the best word for it. And, the, it's and I'm hoping that what happens is if Goodell gets pushed out of his spot as commissioner, that the next commissioner will appeal the rest of whatever of Josh Gordon Josh has Gordon left has of his left, suspension. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and hopefully this will happen fast enough that Josh Gordon doesn't get to miss a huge, uh, majority of his season. I mean, even missing a couple games sucks, but the fact that... There's a possibility he might become able to come back. It's nice. Another concept here, here we go, is that like now that Ray Rice is gone, I kind of thought that the offense would kind of look iffy, yeah. but they kind of proved me wrong. They've been running all over Pittsburgh as they, of right yeah, now. They, they, they pretty much the had, out of them. yeah, they, they had the, the final game won. Six to six. We, That's what it ended know. up being. Yeah, yeah their we, running backs look good as hell. So yeah, I don't think they Justin, have too many issues. Uh, Justin Forsett and something Pierce. I forgot yeah, they both name. played really well. It, I kind of feel like the Steelers didn't come out and play real well. Their they defense probably, looked out like they were on their heels all game. I don't know. It, it looked like terrible game planning, and the offensive line for Baltimore just went out there and ate them up. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know, which is weird because I've always known Pittsburgh as being one of the meanest defensive lines in the game. And some of the biggest men I've ever seen yeah, play on the like football Pittsburgh field. Pittsburgh has been has had the reputation for being a defensive squad for like fucking years, mm-hmm. and now they just look like they're falling apart. Basically, final words: Ray Rice got what he deserved. Every game of the season, he's done for the season. Uh, and Roger Goodell should get removed as commissioner. Amen. He's done. Okay, didn't want to get into this, but the Patriots lost very disappointingly to the Dolphins. It is their first opening day loss since 2003 where they lost to Buffalo 31 to nothing. Now, I don't know if you watched. I unfortunately did. I and, ended up missing it. I ended up okay, being able well, to see it. Okay, well, they looked really good in the first half. Their defense, they had three interceptions. No, excuse me, one interception, two forced fumbles, and they got them both. So they were up 20 to 10. I was like, holy shit, <laughs> this is it. We got us a fucking team again, you know, in New England anyway. But second half comes around. Brady gets fucking sacked. I forgot a couple times. He lost two fumbles. Uh, held the they held the Patriots scoreless and they ended up winning thirty three to twenty. Yeah, I um when I, I mean, any just, of the um stuff I heard about the game it's was just fucking that, awful. That, I mean, it was a nightmare. The Dolphins came out the second half and they they, they came and they attacked Brady. No Sean game. Marino, man. He my dad got him on his fantasy team and he didn't play him. 
That was my <laughs> stupid fault. I told him not to because I thought New England having Vince Wilfork, Chandler Jones, Rob Ninkovich, uh, Chris Jones, and and uh, Jamie Collins, and like Dante Hightower and Gerard Mayo in the back. I thought it was like no way. This is like no way. No, Sean Moreno's good, but he ain't that good. See, I, I mean, but I, I, I was wrong. I kind of figured that what would happen would be is that they got. They got Gerard Mayo and Vince Wilfork back in the middle. Is that that it wouldn't they wouldn't be perfect? Obviously, these guys are coming back off of being yeah, off for a yeah, whole season. A whole season. But I really did expect, especially with Wilfork sitting in the middle, that there would be a lot of running lanes taken away. And the fact that they got ran all over. Oh yeah, that's a bad. You know, that's kind of a bad time. But I'm not really. I'm not worried or anything. I still think the Patriots are going to take the. East. Well, I mean, you can't. I mean, you, know, you, you can't, can't really... judge a season on the first game. Let's talk about the Lions a little bit more. About this past Monday night, how they throttled the Giants. They looked pretty damn good. They really did. They looked explosive. They you looked know, like they could finally. Unfortunately, score. they lost a defensive back. I forgot who. Oh, um, see, I didn't even hear about it. But they, I didn't hear about it till the after after the game. But they, uh, I don't know when the hell James Ahead of is supposed to start, uh, start playing. Hopefully soon because. This other guy's a big loss. I don't even remember his fucking name. Here I am saying he's a big loss, and I don't remember okay, his you know his name. Yeah. But anyway, uh, they they how many times did they pick off Manning? Like three times, I think. I think it Two? was something like that. I know they I know they forced quite a few. They forced yeah, a couple you, turnovers. Eli Manning and throwing interceptions. See, but that's you know, that not very. Well. I mean, you can't really feel that. But you can't feel yeah. all that great when you're picking off that, Eli. That's what I, I was just have. gonna get to that. You know, I'm not gonna bash the Lions, and I'm I'm really glad they started one and all. But they played the Giants. You, you See, can't you the, can't you can't be calling for a Super Bowl parade or anything like that. The one that. thing that makes me happy is that I watched that Matthew yes, Stafford this was game, throwing he well. He looked a lot better. And I and you know this, I gave Go on. I'll say this game I'm hoping will be the stepping stone into going into they, just keeping a good rhythm cuz he was hitting Calvin good. Yeah, and, Golden Tate. Yeah, like the thing is he just if, as long as he's in a rhythm he does well. It's whenever he, is, he hits yeah. that, that that rut. Yeah, and it's he's, scary when it's, he's in that rut. Over. He starts side ironing things and forcing yeah, things. Like, it's just it's rough. You know, it's just a bad sign. I think uh, I, I gave Jim Caldwell a lot of crap. You remember that when we yeah, first found he was the coach? It, yeah. Well, this is before I started doing my vlogs. I gave him a lot of crap when they found when I found out they hired Jim Caldwell. I was like, "Are you fucking kidding? Ken Wizen Hunt." Why did you hire him? You well, know, I mean, it was the offensive fast. Yeah, yeah, him. same thing. You know, Ken Wisenhunt. I I liked him. Where the hell is he now? I know he's. I somewhere. can't remember. He. I didn't. Who did he coach for before? Wasn't it? Ed? He's in Tennessee. He's in Tennessee now. Oh, see, yeah. I can't even tell you. Uh, so okay, they got Jim Cole. I think he's. I think he's part of the reason Matt Stafford did so well because this guy coached Peyton Manning. Well, yeah, he's uh, he's been his name has been coinciding with yeah yeah a very decent quarter well. Peyton Manning is not com- decent. He's great. But, yeah. But, I mean, his oh, name yeah. is cons- coinciding with you, you, quarterbacks that yeah, do well. That do so, well. I'm so hoping he, he knows this how will, to do it, you know. He I'm knows hoping, how to work a quarterback. I'm, I'm looking for that season that Stafford had a couple of years ago, that 5,000 yeah, yards 5, season. Yeah, 5,000 yards and shit. Like, he and, threw that season, and then um, all of a sudden everything went... Sh- uh, Panthers. That's going to be a test for the Lions. Oh, yeah, for sure. They got a hell of a defense. They are nasty, and after all the shit that Cam Newton said about uh, Adamica Sue, kept calling him Donkey Kong Sue, that ain't going to fly well, I don't think, and I think it's going to piss Sue off, but you know what? It's all about execution. You, know you go thing, out there and smack him on the field. The thing is, though, even if something is questionable, like if, like, oh, they're, like, they're looking at a play, like, oh, Sue could, like, someone could get a uh, penalty with this, they're going to nail him for it, and then they're going to yeah. find him and say that he was headhunting on purpose. Which is which yeah, sucks. Which is stupid. Because yeah. then now that and now that Cam has said this stuff, it's going to be even more like frequent. Well, not even frequent. It's going to be that they're going to be looking yeah, for this. Yeah, they're going to be like looking for like, it. Like oh, like oh, he hit him late. That's yeah, fine. Oh, oh, that's a fine. Oh, uh, oh, oh, he flipped the birdie. Poor, poor guy's oh, probably lost a, a third of his damn paychecks because of this shit. Yeah, we're going to have to go out there and we're going to be testing on all sides of the ball. Yeah, and what's going to happen is is either we're going to show up. And we're gonna have to either outscore them, yeah, or something, or it's gonna be one of those games I where think, neither of us can score. I think if you can shut down Cam Newton and uh, the running backs, uh, Williams and Stewart. I mean, that's a test right there. Just you know, Cam that, by himself, right there, is scary. right there. Cam right there, yeah, himself is a test. If they can shut him and the running backs down, 
I can't name one receiver on that team. Not Steve Smith and Brandon LaFell are gone. Yeah, I couldn't even tell you. Uh, uh, Cam, they still Cam got, got, got Greg shifted. Olson. They got, and they got Jason Avant. I know that. But, I mean, Jason Avant's in. Greg Olson's yeah, a tight end. He's a decent tight end. But, I mean, good tight end, you but can't like, throw to a yeah. tight end all game. He's not Jimmy Graham. He's not... Rob Gronkowski. Yeah, Gronkowski or he's not that he's not that playmaker. He's a no. good player, but he doesn't have. No. He's not as big. He doesn't got the wingspan. Yeah. He doesn't got the no, explosive ability. Not even. I mean, Rob Gronkowski's got the wingspan of a condor. He, <laughs> he really does. <laughs> but uh, like he, like Olsen is kind of like um, he reminds me of like Fourier on the Lions yeah, Fourier, or um, you know or. Uh, who's another guy? Todd Heap for a little bit, like when he started. Yeah, going down. that's definitely a, like Todd a better version of Todd Heap. Yeah, yeah. Dennis Pitta is pretty good too. That's that's another one that's fairly close. That he's plays kind of like him, but he's good. I mean, you can throw it to him; he'll probably hold on to the ball. Yeah. So yeah, that we basically just previewed the Lions Panthers game. Well, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be either it's, it's gonna a, be it's really gonna be, bad. Yeah, or it's gonna be really it's gonna close. Be a close one. I don't see a blowout. Happening but I don't. I don't. If it's gonna be a blowout, the Lions are gonna be on the wrong side. Yeah, of it. they are. There I, isn't gonna. No, it's not gonna go no. the other way around. No, they're not gonna blow the Panthers, who are a it's, second round playoff team last year. It's gonna be. It's it's know. gonna be probably low scoring, and it's gonna be whoever scores first. I really do think so. Yep. I really. I yeah. think that's. I that's whoever scores first is probably gonna win. I agree. All right, uh, all right. Let's do a Patriots Vikings game preview. They're going to Minnesota, so that's kind of good for Minnesota. But I don't, I don't think Teddy Bridgewater. I think he's good. Is he even playing, or, or is it? Yeah, I think he is. I think starting. he is playing. Yeah. Um, because I know there was talk they were going to put Christian Ponder, and I, I knew that was a joke because Christian Ponder <laughs> isn't, isn't that good. He, you may, he makes you ponder the fact that he's on the field. Yeah, and huh. you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think I think Teddy Bridgewater is going to have some trouble because he's facing off against a team that has Revis. Uh, who else? McCordy. See the thing Will is Ford, though, Mayo. I mean, yeah. Despite all that though, Miami still found a way to beat him. Well, so I was just going to say the fact that they got ran all over by. Yeah, Moreno by was a thought. And well, now then you look Adrian at Adrian Peterson. Peterson. That's a scary that, thought. Yeah, that is so going to be. So if they play the run, Teddy might be going out there and playing well. It all kind of depends on if Bill Bel- who Bill Belichick feels like it's going to hurt them less. Yeah. Which I kind of think they're probably going to go with Teddy. So what they're going to do is probably put, put eight men in the box and just yeah, let like them the key, and just let Teddy try to sling it, which I don't think he's going to be able to do. I would say the key to the Patriots' victory would be to score, keep scoring, because Minnesota doesn't have a defense anymore. They're, they they well, lost their down. So it's probably just going to stop. They lost Kevin Williams. So the, the, the name of the game is going to be stop the offense. It's going to stop, stop Adrian. Stop Peterson. Stop Bridgewater if he becomes a problem. I don't see can, him being a problem. I, I don't either, but you, you never know. I, mean, I, I see. I see if they can stop Adrian, if they can hold the, him under 100 yards, oh, they'll they win this game. They'll win. Okay, uh, I got a baseball jersey on. Just took his. Well, I took my hat off. Hat off not and admire baseball. that man's hair. That that man has some good hair. Okay, uh, Tigers just got done doing a series against the Royals. Before that, it was the Giants. Giants one didn't go over so well. They lost two out of three. They got blown out in game one. Uh, game two, they just barely lost, despite Cabrera hitting. I think uh, he, I think he hit one home run, maybe two. I don't I don't remember, but he had a he had a home run. He's fin- finally found his power stroke, so that's good. So Took they lost two. Huh? Took him long enough. Yeah, no kidding. They uh, they lost two out of three to the Giants. They go they go up against the Royals. They completely, you know, like it, it looked like it was going to be a pitching duel at first, and then the Tigers go up two to nothing. The Royals tied it up, and then the Tigers just, bam. They just turned on the fucking run machine, and they got, I believe, six runs? Oh, in that one two. inning or something yeah. like that? I, yeah, I they, remember reading that. They went, up, they went up 8-2, to two, I believe. And and then the, and then uh, um, Verlander comes in, completely shuts the Royals down. Here comes the fucking bullpen. Blow everything's it, you know, yeah, everything's starting to get out of hand. I, actually, I think Verlander started like put put a guy. On. I don't remember. Yeah, how he started. I think he. I, think I, he I was put on the crap on base. I was on the crap, and then so they pulled see. him out, and then they, it just they went south. Yeah, because like, I think he got a well, couple a runs play that, to a play him that, that I hurt. hurt. My phone goes off. I pull it, and there's an in the park home run from the Royals. I'm like, how the fuck did that happen? 
I walk out, my dad's sitting there calling Don Kelly, dumb, dumb Kelly, and I'm like, what'd he do? You know, and he was, my dad looks at me and goes, dude, he fucking, uh, uh, Tory Hunter was right under the ball, Don Kelly ran into him, <laughs> and fucking, instead of, uh, Tory Hunter's, you know, on the ground pointing at the ball, and Don Kelly goes to Tory Hunter's glove to see if the ball's in there. You serious? Yeah, and by the time Don Kelly got to the ball, the guy was rounding third. So it was like, Don wow. Kelly. Why is Don Kelly playing center field? The guy. Why is he on the field? <laughs> but Don Kelly, you know, you could put him in left or right, or first and third, and he'll be all right. But you can't put him at short. You can't put him at second. And you damn sure can't put him in center field. It's just a bad idea. It'd be like putting my, my ass in center field, and that'd be a nightmare. You know, well, I mean, it, it, it's just bad enough that we already have enough issues with our field, our outfielders yeah. as it is. And then you want to put Don Kelly, which is right there. Yeah. They need to bring in someone from the bullpen that they can bring in so that these starting pitchers are not losing are, are their wins. Go. Yeah, yeah, they need to, that bullpen needs some work. And I'll, I'll list guys who can go and who can stay. Guys who can stay, Jim Johnson. I like Jim Johnson. He's all right. Joaquin Soria, they better pick his option up or I'm going to be really pissed. Joe Nathan, okay, go I ahead. Kinda, I see, Shoot I me. Feel like, He's been pretty good lately. Well, He's I thirty see, for thirty six. Like, I feel like they kind of they f with with Johnson and Soria sitting there. I feel like what they yeah. could do is they could sure up room. They could they could create room by getting rid of Nathan and then moving one of the two of them, whoever's throwing better, at that closer spot. Maybe, but I doubt it'll happen. <laughs> Well, I fi- I figured it wouldn't, but yeah. I mean, it could. It would probably it could, work. But better. I listed him under guys that stay, so uh, that's just my opinion. Yeah, I personally. Al agree. Albuquerque's been pretty good lately, so he can stay. He's a scary thing. When yeah, he, sucks, he, he is Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde. That's what I call him. You know, because some nights you love him, some nights you hate Sometimes him. Sometimes you just pray he. But, come but his off ERA is under wrong. three, way under three, almost almost under one. So like well, it's uh, like a two point. 14 or something. That's not bad. I mean, that's not close to one. Uh, but. Blaine Hardy can stay. He's been a very good lefty in that bullpen. So those are five. And Java Chamberlain. Uh, just keep him in the setup role. Do not make him a closer. Those are yeah, six I, guys yeah, that Java, can stay. Java should be only throwing seventh and eighth. Yeah, game. okay. Guys that can go. Phil Coke, too inconsistent. Amen, bro. You know, I mean, he's been good since the All-Star break, but that doesn't. That, that's not good enough. You know, he's yeah. got to go. He might be a Coke, but he's a flat Coke. Yeah, he's flat. Really bad. Jose Ortega, get the hell out of Detroit. Yeah. The guy I, is awful. <laughs> I haven't seen him run out. <laughs> he really, I really haven't either. And that's I mean, the worst part. You know, uh, Evan Reed, it's not about the rape thing. I don't care about that. I just feel like, I don't think he just hasn't been him. good. You know what's weird? Huh. Is that he got accused of that after work after co- staying at my hotel? Yeah, the hotel you work at. Swear to God, in my life, dog, Arden checked him in. Oh my! Oh my! My God. girlfriend checked in yeah, Evan Reed at the hotel Arden. I work at. Yeah, <laughs> checked Evan Reed in, and that hotel. That whole thing went down when that whole raid. That's you got to tell Arden that. You got to tell her that that's, that's got to be known. That has to be known. That is, I mean, wow. I think she, I think she realizes, but I don't think she realizes the whole thing. Yeah, and I, that's I'm weird. not, I'm not gonna list Luke Conan under anything because he's been out all season. I think yeah. he could be good, but whatever. Uh, so the he Tigers, the they have some work to do as far as the bullpen goes. I think getting another starting pitcher, unless Kyle Lobstein is ready, because Kyle Lobstein's been on fire. That kid. He's been a godsend so well, far. I'm just going to keep my fingers crossed that Scherzer doesn't go on. Yeah, me trip. too. I really don't want to see Scherzer go anymore. Well, I mean, yet. he's my favorite Tiger. I really yeah. do. I really but do. But I also, I back. also want them to hold on to David Price because I oh, like, yeah, having, I like having a lefty in old rotation. And, uh, he's he's played he's fairly been, well for most been, of the games he's played. In. Yeah, I'm yeah. Not, there's not a ton of yeah. complaints. Plus, I mean, hit, there isn't yeah. a lot of complaints with any of our starting pitchers, at least. Well, in my opinion, for most most of them. Most of the games. I uh, I was talking about the Royals, uh, Tigers, and I, we just like flew off track. So, um, okay, yeah, the bullpen, I guess, started getting a little rocky, but the Tigers held on and won 9-5. to five. That's all fine today. The next game was a fucking, was just fucking amazing. It's 4-2. to two. Joe Nathan comes in, puts the first two guys on with no out, and I'm just firing it off. I'm like, you're going to flip the crowd off again, Joe? What the fuck, man? Come on. You know, I'm, I'm giving this guy a hard time. Well, he must have been hearing my tweets or, or everybody's <laughs> booze or something because he uh, 
uh, he struck a, struck a guy out, and he picked a guy off at second. Kinsler screamed at him. He turned around and saw Gerard Dyson, I think it was. Gerard, yeah, Gerard Dyson was trying to go for third. He, he threw it to second. Well, Dyson slipped, and he went back to second. He got tagged by Kinsler. So there's the second out. And then he struck out the next guy. So the Tigers tied it up in the Ale Central. The next day, they had to win to take a one-game lead. And they lost. Yeah. Three to nothing. No run support. Rick Porcello pitches a good game. It starts raining really bad. They didn't call it, which really kind of pissed me off because playing baseball in the rain is not a good thing at all. I've done it before. When I was in high school, we had to practice in the rain. It is a fucking nightmare. That ball is hard to catch in the rain. It's hard to grip. Shit, it's hard to see. And those fucking umpires, they should have just called it when the rain was coming down. You couldn't even see anything at some point. They should have just went, all right, get the tarp. Because it only lasted like five minutes anyway, so whatever. They play the Indians tomorrow. Excuse me, Friday, which is technically today from the time we're making this video. Uh, 7.08 start. I think it's in Comerica this time. So hopefully they can beat up on the Indians. They took three out of four from, la uh, from them last time. Let's just hope the, they start winning and the Royals start losing. We have one more series with the Royals coming up. We have three more games. The season series is already in favor for the Tigers. They've beaten them 11 out of 16 times. There's only three games left, so go Tigers. <laughs> the hockey jersey is on. It is going to be on for the rest of the vlog because I like it. I love that smell. It's oh, a little ass. weird. It doesn't smell like ass. It's Red Wings. It can't smell like ass. Okay, uh... Not much to talk about as far as hockey goes. Bob Sutter, who is the father, was the father of Ryan Sutter, died at the age of 53. Yet another death in September. There has been too many. Uh, now we got Bob Sutter to add to it. Now, Bob Sutter was a defenseman for Team USA in 1980. Uh, in case you need to be reminded, that was the miracle on ice here when the United States beat the Soviets and then went on to beat Team Finland for the gold. Bob Sutter was a part of that team. I was actually quite shocked when I heard that. 53 is not a dying age. No, and I, no. felt, I felt really bad for Ryan Sutter because I love Ryan Sutter. To go up against a team that beat the NHL All-Stars pretty badly and win that shit, I mean, it was huge. For sure. You know, and Miracle is, one of, is probably my favorite sports movie of all time, besides The Sandlot. I love The Sandlot. The Sandlot is the shit. I love, I love Miracle. Probably a little more because... Well, I'm American, so why wouldn't I? America. America. All right, basketball. Team USA is... Another America. ...dominating the FIBA tournament. They just beat... Uh, they beat Slovenia. They just beat bad. today. They beat somebody today. I, I don't even It, it was bad. I it know was it really was really bad. We threw it up the game. by 25 was, or yeah. some shit. Yeah, so we were just Harden like, well, went, Harden went up. another victory. This is going to be victory number seven. Harden went off, dropped 17 Harden, points in the third. Yeah, in the third. I mean, USA is just dominating. I really can't say anybody can beat the U.S. I, I mean, I hate to sound arrogant, but... Dude, there is like 63-0 and 0 since like 2000. Like, in the FIBA tournament? Yeah, yeah since like 2008. Yeah, they've been undefeated. They're so, amazing. they are ridiculous. It's yeah. not, and, and the worst part is... Is that the United States isn't even playing their best players? LeBron no, isn't on LeBron, the court. Kevin Durant. Kevin isn't on the court. I mean, let's be real. Kobe Bryant. Well, he's been injured. But I mean, that's still another player that isn't yeah, yeah. on the court. Dwight Howard. I, I haven't seen Melo either. No, Me Carmelo Anthony isn't on the team either. Which I mean, that like right there, it's like some Andre of the Drummond best. Is also, that's pretty cool. That is cool. That is a cool thing to see someone on the Pistons yeah. actually. He doesn't play much, but he's on the team. So that's well, I mean, fun. he's behind Anthony Davis. I mean, yeah, another really Test, good player. Yeah, it's, it's a big one. Not a huge. It's not all a right, huge right. thing. Uh, speaking of the Pistons, Greg Monroe has accepted the qualifying offer to play for the Pistons for one more year. Which is nice. Yeah, uh, here's my thing, though. I think what they did that for is they're just going to end up trading him before he becomes a free agent at the end of the season. <laughs> which is probably a, if they're, which is probably a smart idea because... They you need know, to trade I, I for another decent, then, like, power forward, then. Yeah, they need to get something. Because, I mean, I don't see the Pistons going anywhere this year as far as, like, well, I mean, they goes. Like, what, what, they're gonna play. You know, they're gonna play. They have to play physical basketball. That's the where their skills lie are in their big men between Monroe and Drummond. Yeah, I mean, and Josh Smith, Josh who's Smith. just also another fairly large man. 
Yeah. These are bigger men that are going to play a lot of physical basketball. It's going to be a yeah, lot of down low, post playing yeah. shit, man. Yeah. I'm really, I am confident Stan Van Gundy though. I like him. Oh yeah, I like him as our GM and that coach. That was definitely was by far the best move the best Pistons have made in a in a, a while. Time. I didn't like Maurice Cheeks. Cheeks. Uh, yeah, Maurice, ass Maurice cheeks. ass cheeks. Yeah, good player when he played, but he sucks as a coach. This thing that sucks. If you're a good player, you usually aren't a good coach. No, and you're like if you're like a mediocre or bad player, you're trying to be like coach of the year almost. Yeah, uh, any coach. Jim Harbaugh. Is all much my an coaches example. that I've had, oh, you sucked at the sport. Yeah. So. Okay. Other news. Uh, Serena Williams won her 18th women's U.S. Open title, which is tennis. I don't really watch tennis. I just want to mention that. Another USA thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, congratulations. And we're supposed to be all fat. I know. I know, right? <laughs> congratulations, Serena Williams. You earned it. And uh, last, and uh, last but not least, Marin. Selig, I think that's how you pronounce his name. He won his first major men's U.S. Open title. This is the men's half of the U.S. Open. I don't know where this guy's from. I don't know anything about him. All I know is my phone blew up one night and said uh, that he won. I just wanted to mention, say congratulations, Mr. Silic, if that's how you pronounce your name. I, If I botch that really bad, please call me a dumbass in the comment section. I am giving you permission. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know much about tennis. I don't watch it that often. Yeah, it's fun, it's fun to play. I'll admit, but I don't. I don't watch it. It's kind of boring. To I watch. can't play it. I'm terrible. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much all we have for you guys today. Uh, next vlog will be just me. I think I'm not really making any promises. Mm. I'm also. Uh, I'm gonna make a, another change to these. I don't think I'm gonna keep doing the jersey thing because sometimes these. It's a hassle for me. I gotta find them sometimes because I'm I'm not very organized all the time, uh, and, and, it, and it gets really hot in these things. Yeah, I'm already. You know, I'm sweating. So yeah, this is a hockey feel. jersey. This is pretty heavy, so I'm already. I'm like boiling over here almost. So, and I gotta wash them after that, and then I don't got them for Red Wings games or Tigers games. They all they're all stinky and shit. They smell like feet. And it's gross. So I think I'm going to stop with the jersey thing. I'm just going to wear whatever I'm wearing that night. I know it sounds kind of lazy, and maybe, or and I'm sorry if it disappoints, but it is what it is, guys. I, I just got to make this easier for myself. Well, I mean, know? it's not like you're playing on a team. Well, like exactly. You have to wear the uniforms they're wearing. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, for uh, Tom Josh 87 Josh Thompson, I am Kujo06241, and we are signing out. Thank <music> you.